Hi everyone, Philip here from TGT and welcome to another video. Apple has released iOS 14.7.1 to the public. On last week, Apple did release iOS 14.7, but this is rather an emergency update. So the iOS 14.7.1 is here right away without any betas. Now let's check for the build number, go to settings, then general, then about. And as you can see, the new build number is 18G82. Now this update came in around 124 MB in this iPhone 12 mini and before the update the available free space was 19.05 GB out of 64 GB and after the update the free space is now 19.35 GB so kind of a 0 0.30 GB space cleaned up. Now as you can see there is no modem firmware update in this version. Now to update your device go to settings then general then software update and you should see your update available here as you can see i have already updated to ios 14.7.1 but here is an important thing for you if you have the ios 14 beta profile installed on your device then you might not see this update populating in this update section because this version was released straight away so there was no beta software update for this version so beta users you have to delete the beta profile from those beta section from the profile section of this device and then only you can install this update then check for software update and you will be able to see the update available there now as i mentioned earlier as this is an emergency update so there is no new features but there are some bug fixes and major security updates in this version and the first one is for the touch id devices now just like this uh, if you are using an apple watch and you are using and you have paired it with a device just like this with have a touch id then apple have fixed and bug where iphone models with touch id cannot unlock a paired apple watch using the unlock with iphone feature now this has been provided for the face id devices as well now if you head over to the apple watch app and then go to passcode you'll be able to see this option unlock with iPhone. Now, if you are using this for devices like this iPhone 7 or other Touch ID enabled devices, this function was not properly working with iOS 14.7. That means you have enabled the unlock with iPhone option for this Apple Watch and it was not working properly. It was encountering, it was encountering some error. Apple have patched that with this version. Now, apart from this bug fixes, according to the release note of iOS 14.7.1, it fixes some major security bugs as well. As you can see, it says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privilege. Apple is aware of the report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So an IO mobile frame buffer issue has been patched here by Apple in this version. This is the only major security update that has been mentioned in the note, but definitely Apple has done something major behind the scenes as well, which Apple always does. And one of those issues may be related to the Pegasus spyware, which is running right across the world. And even in India, this is also causing some major issues. And apart from India, across the globe, many countries are facing the attack of this spyware. Now remember that Apple did release iOS 14.7 with a fix for that Pegasus spyware but I think there was some bugs or there were some loopholes left so Apple is releasing iOS 14.7.1 in emergency purpose for that. I don't know but this update may be related to that Pegasus spyware. Now apart from that there is no major changes or updates in this version. Now apart from that I'm also using this on this iPad Air 4 generation. Now Apple also released iPad OS 14.7.1 as well and this came in around 98.5 MB as you can see here and after the update this iPad is running absolutely fine. There is no issue. Now definitely this update should not impact the performance of any of these devices because it has nothing to do with that. It is a security update and all the updates and all the security bugs that I mentioned earlier has been applied to this version as well. Of course, the Face ID related issue is not related to iPad because you cannot pair an Apple Watch with an iPad yet. 
Now I'm also running this on this iPhone 7 as I mentioned earlier and this is running absolutely fine. There is no issue. So if you have a Touch ID enabled device, you should definitely update to this version. Now this is running without any issues to any of these devices. Now if you are interested about the benchmark scores, here are the scores for the iOS 14.7.1 with iPhone 12 mini. As you can see, the score is 1589 for the single core and 4023 for the multi core, which is kind of same as the iOS 14.7. So now the question is, should you update? Definitely, I should say you should update to this version in iOS 14.7.1 because this update catches some major security bugs which was affecting your device. So definitely update all the supported devices you have. Anyway, that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to TGT and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.